Hello and welcome to Cupcake Addiction's Puppy Dog Cupcake Tutorial. Where I'm going to be showing you how to make not one, but three adorable puppy dog cupcakes. Now a little while ago I showed you how to make a giant cupcake for your dogs in collaboration with the YouTube channel Cooking for Dogs. They do dog pedicures, they do dog recipes, they do dog grooming, absolutely everything to do with your dogs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the pup from Cooking for Dogs, which is a poodle named Roland. I'm also going to be showing you how to make this Maltese and our other dog, I'm not quite sure what he is, a little bit of a floppy eared bitzer. For today's tutorial you'll need some melted dark chocolate, I've got some of our perfectly pipeable buttercream frosting in white in a disposable piping bag and I've paired that with a small star piping tip. I've also tinted some more of that frosting a light brown colour, just using a little bit of cocoa or a little bit of light brown food colouring. I've got a couple of Ziploc bags, a pair of scissors and a spoon, a plain knife, a serrated edge knife. For my floppy dog's ears, I'm using a milk arrowroot cookie here in Australia. If you don't have access to these, you can use something like a Milano, otherwise you can certainly bake your own cookies to roughly this shape, but you're looking for kind of like a long overly shape. I've got a fruit chew or a piece of taffy, you can also use fondant or modelling chocolate here and I've just softened mine in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Over here we've got some brown mini M&Ms, a yellow normal M&M, some black jelly bellies or small jelly beans and an unmelted dark chocolate candy melt. I've also got a little bit of caramel fudge, you can also use caramel chews. Of course I've got my cupcakes here ready to frost and I've just gone with red velvet cupcakes today but you can use any you like. So let's get started. So we'll start with our floppy eared dog. You just want to put a little bit of your frosting just loosely on the cupcake and then use your knife just to smooth it down to the edges and just smooth it back and forth so you've got a roughly kind of a smooth top to your cupcake. Take your cookie now and I always find it's best to do this in a sawing motion with a serrated edge knife. So just saw through a little bit at a time and it will actually split apart. If you try to cut it in one motion it will crack. You want to stick those two little ears on either side of your cupcake and push them right down into this frosting. And then you want to take your yellow M&M &M and put it on one side for one eye and your brown candy melt can go on the other side as kind of like a patch behind the eye. One of your jelly bellies down as a little bit of a jelly belly nose and pop him off to the side. Moving on to our apricot poodle now, you want to take some of that pale brown frosting, scoop it into a Ziploc bag and then we're once again just going to give that sort of a smooth domed effect with our buttercream frosting on top of your next cupcake. Take a little bit of that caramel fudge and I'm just going to really fashion this into a little bit of an oval shape. You might need to soften it up a little bit between your fingers depending on how hard your caramel is. So just roll that into a little bit of an oval. And we're going to stick that straight on the front of our little nose. Don't make it too tall here. This is really just to give your dog's nose a little bit of height. Take another piece of caramel, soften it up and tear off two pieces about the size of a small marble. Roll those into a little ball and then just use your finger just to flatten them out. And what you're looking for is, we're making the ears here, so you're kind of looking for a little bit of a teardrop shape. So flatten them out into an oval and then you can use your knife just to cut off one edge so that you've kind of got that teardroppy effect. You want to repeat this with the other ear, making sure that it's of course going on the opposite side so you cut off the opposite edge. Snip off a little tip from your Ziploc bag, nothing too fancy about this thick, and then you want to just take your frosting and we're going to just curl it around. So I do three or four curls and then lift the bag and start again rather than doing the entire amount. This is going to give us that curly ringlety kind of hair effect. Coat your entire cupcake and then when you come to that piece of caramel that's on the front, You'll see we're just going to coat over the top of that, but it's going to build it up without using too much excess frosting. This is going to give us our little dog snout effect, and when you look at it from above, you can see it actually looks like a dog snout sticking out. Take your black nose now and stick it right on top of that little piece of caramel, so the little protruding snout, and then you want to take two of your dark M&Ms and just pop them on either side, relatively well spaced, and then take your two caramel ears and stick them on either side of those eyes making sure that you push them right into that frosting. Tear off some of your pink taffy or your pink fruit chew or fondant and you just want to roll this into a ball. So microwaving this for 5 or 10 seconds can make it a bit softer and a bit more pliable if you're using the fruit chews. And then I just sort of flatten the ball out and pull it so that what I've got is a long oval shape. This is going to make our little puppy dog tongue. Take the back of your knife and just make a small indentation for sort of the centre line of the tongue and then we're going to pop that straight into Roland the Poodle's mouth. Push it in just below where you've got that little piece of caramel so it's going underneath the caramel into the frosting and that is your little poodle finished. Moving on to our little Maltese or our Shih Tzu, once again a really rough swirl of that white buttercream frosting and then smooth it down to give you that smooth kind of a 
frosted dome and really don't be too neat with these. You don't have to be very fussy at all. Your star tip should give you this kind of a texture. So this is going to give you the texture of the fur and now it's all in how you pipe it onto the cupcake and there is an art to this. So for the bottom section of your cupcake, about the bottom corner, just go back and forward in a bit of a rough swirl. Then you want to come from the side of that swirl or from the top of the forehead down and meet up with the side of the swirl. So you're kind of almost putting like a ring around the cupcake. Then you want to do another little up and down squiggle in the center and then like double moustache coming down from the center of that cupcake. So you do one moustache line at the bottom and then another moustache line at the top is the best way to describe it. Of the top here you want to bring down almost like a fringe and that's got to go over the sides of the moustache and once again that's two lines coming from the center which kind of gives you like the shaggy hair over the eyes effect. That's your basic pattern for this dog cupcake. Now you want to take a little bit more of that pink fondant or pink taffy and we're just going to fashion into like a little bit of a teardrop or a little bit of a triangle for the ears and then once again take that frosting and just go around the outside of the ears. You'll need to put a bit of frosting in behind the ear and that's just going to help to hold it up and give it a bit more support and you want to do that with both of your ears. So you can see this little bit of frosting and that just stops those ears from falling backwards. Now a little bit more of that taffy or fondant and just like we did with Roland the Poodle, we're going to just fashion this into a bit of an oval and we're going to make our little Maltese tongue a little bit shorter than the Poodle tongue for me. A little line with the knife and just pop that one off to the side and then you want to grab your last jelly bean, so that nose, and pop it right in the centre of that moustache that you made. And then in the two little gaps under the little Maltese's fringe, you want to add in those two little dark M&Ms right nice and close together before putting the tongue in just at the base of the moustache. There's your finished Maltese or Shih Tzu or as I like to call them fluff ball. Now stick some of that melted dark chocolate into the Ziploc bag, push it all the way down to the end and snip off a really fine corner. You want to use this as a piping bag just to paint a little dot in the centre of that dark candy melt and also in that yellow m and Starting at the centre of the jelly belly you want to come down in like a little backwards and a little forwards J just to give your puppy dog a little mouth. Those are your three gorgeous little puppy dog cupcakes ready to go. You've got three different breeds, three different types, and you can use these techniques to really personalize these cupcakes to suit your own pet. As always, thanks very much for tuning in to My Cupcake Addiction.